the new champ is here, Chris Congo. On. Great yes, to sir. see you. Yes, um, you. Emotional night for you as well, beating rival Florian Marku by unanimous decision. I think we sort of discussed it in today's Toe to Toe podcast, but people put a lot into this sport and they don't always get their awards because boxing yeah. doesn't always love you back. But yeah. now as you sit there, finally, I think you, you had your night. Is that fair to say? 100% uh, I had my night. Um, like I said, like we spoke about on the podcast, for me, I haven't been training for that fight for just, for just a couple of months or let's say a month. I've been training for this fight for seven years. I've been a pro for seven years. So yes, yeah, it's, it's all been built up to, to this. And I think this is my way up now. And winning this fight has definitely made me want to work harder and get back in the gym and get ready for the next one. What won the day for you? in the end. I think we, we're looking at it now, aren't we? And obviously you're boxing really well, but what do you think made the key difference? Is it boxing IQ and boxing skills? They will always win the day, the fundamentals. Definitely, it was that, but also, also a, a, a combination of staying disciplined, doing what I needed to do, and listening obviously to my, my coach, which is Barry Smith, as you see here, me in front of him. A lot of emotion, it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was pretty emotional, but it was, it was happy emotions and I'm happy to have, have the time, as you can see, with my family who are in the ring as well with me. We're not letting anybody rest. We've dragged you in here uh, Tuesday after the Sunday. Yes, sir. Because strike while the iron is hot, so what next? Of course. Who, who next? I've, I'm, I'm feeling we should, we're, we're above British level now. We fought the British guys and now it's time to step up, so I, I would love a chance and a shot at the European title. So Geordie Wise, if you're watching, let's make this happen. Come over, come over from France to the UK and let's make a big fight happen. There you go. Well, there's your call out. Look, it is your platform. So let's see if he, if he answers. For sure. um, now on that undercard, uh, Vidal Riley outpointed Mikhail Lawal to complete a successful first defence of the English Cruiserweight title. However, it was the fireworks with Isaac after the fight that made the headlines. So check this out if you haven't seen it. If you think you can box like that against me, you've got another thing coming. I'm not going to lie, because this fight, listen, it's nothing. Listen, you beat that same guy and started shedding tears. You see any tears on my face? Listen, because you didn't perform. What kind of performance is that? That performance was dead. Yeah, yeah, and so? So? Listen, it's standard to me. This is well, yeah, we expected this. You punches. You're told your own coach is telling you to be brave. Because you're not on it in that ring, bro. You're out here running scared, bro. Don't do that. Just because Bobby has to talk to you all kind, yeah. And my dad can talk to me how he likes. Don't start piping up with the blue shades. Don't start... Wait, wait, what? Say be brave. You're, what? You don't have no heart. Your coach has to tell you to be brave. Where we can run it whenever. What? We can run it whenever. Don't do that. Because you've been calling me out since October. You didn't say that before. Since October, you've been calling me out. So now it's any time. So now it's any time. here, bro. Now I'm here. What, bro? Well, I had no control over that microphone uh, <laughs> at all. Thank you for making my life uh, particularly difficult. So the obvious thing now is what happens next? Because just after that, um, just want to clear up, Chev Clark tried to get involved, uh, your mandatory for the British mm -hmm. title, and there was a little bit of people jumping barriers, so, so we stopped it, not because it was Chev Clark. <laughs> but you've, you've got options now. Yeah. But you've also got questions to answer. So Yeah, of course. Do you want to fight Vidal? Do you want to fight Listen, obviously Chef that's Clark? What do you want to do? I'm not going to lie, I like fights where everyone's, it's a big build-up, everything's like, oh, big, do you know what I mean? And uh, I think the Vidal fight is looking like the one that everybody's talking about. So, you know, find your pen, Vidal, because I think you're running a bit scared. I'll pull it on you on that, at that post-fight press, um, post-fight interview, saying, what, we can do it next, now what, bro? Mm -hmm. Now let's see what you've got, bro. Like, I'm really about it. I don't do this for games. I'm not a YouTube guy. I don't do this for little internet views and stuff. Well, I really do this for real, bro. So let's, let's get it cracking. But I don't think he's on it. Even his dad is saying, uh, trying to call Chev over as well. Why's your dad calling Chev over as well? Like, what are you doing? What are you lot doing? What, what, what kind of team is that, bro? Whole team of losers. So do you rate him at all? Yeah, he's a good boxer. He's a good boxer, don't get me wrong, obviously. But? There's a big butt coming here. <laughs> Chris, I'm looking there's at you. Big, yeah, I feel like there's a big coming. butt say coming it, here. But it, one, he's not better than me. I can outbox him and I can, when it gets deep in the trenches, I'm, on, I'm all over him. Like flipping bolognese on spaghetti. Okay. 
So can it happen? So, so what is the message? So w w w let's give you a camera. Which one would be the camera for Which one Isaac? is it? This one? What, which one? Look to camera four. So this is your camera here. So what, Vidal Riley isn't here Vidal to defend Riley, himself. Vidal Riley, don't run. Don't run. If you're really about this, let's get in cracking next. Let's get it cracking next. Don't be on no shook thing. Don't talk about, oh, I gotta do this. I see you try to say that you had a rib fracture. No, you don't. Because when you was bending over after that um, post fight interview, you was like this. Like if your if your rib was really fractured, you wouldn't be able to even go like that, bro. So it's probably bruised. Stop the cap. What you went to a doctor straight after the fight? Stop the cap, bro. You're already trying to find a way out, bro. You're, you're cornered now. What? You should have called me out in October because I'm here now. Okay. Well, I think you probably got your message across, <laughs> Chris. I, lo I, lo I don't play I love that. This. Both, I love like, you know this. I don't play that, bro. I, love I don't this. play that, fam. <laughs> this is this is made to be a, a great great domestic fight, and it's it's one I want to see. You know, it's one I want to see. I know Videl, I know Isaac very well, and I believe it would be a cracking fight. Whether it's at O2 Wembley Arena, wherever it is, I will be there ringside. There you go. As as will we. Just one more before we go. Uh, ben Whitaker continued. His journey, we didn't get the highlight reel knockout, but we did get a little bit more of the razzle-dazzle and the dancing. Um, what did you make of his performance? Uh, but both of you, to be honest, but Chris, I think you had your mind on other things at this point. So, Isaac, I'll come to you. Yeah, it was really good. Obviously, I couldn't really watch it properly because madness was still occurring on. Yeah. So yeah. You're involved after. in your own argument. But, uh, <laughs> no, he done well. He done, ben Whitaker does what Ben Whitaker does, man. You know, he's a great prospect. He's doing his thing, you know. We would like to see him step up soon. But it's, it's good, you know what I mean? It's good to see all of the stuff that he's doing. And uh, he's a good friend of mine, man. He's a cool brother, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, he's, done, he's doing his thing. And all you can do is just enjoy the process as it's coming. Shout out to the, the drunken master, Emmanuel Augustus, who's he's, he's <laughs> taken a couple of things from him, Ben. What do you make, Chris? Um, he was, I, I think he took it as a criticism, but it wasn't. It's just that he got hit more in this fight than he ever has. But mm -hmm. This is the hurt business and this is the fight game. He is going to get hit. And, he, and what he course. said in the post-fight interview was, I, I almost let him hit me. I'm not sure I 100% agree, but um, credit to Liam Williams as well, because he came in at short notice and he, and he really did extend Ben for eight good rounds, eight useful rounds. Definitely. And uh, he pushed Ben, you know, he pushed Ben. Uh, I don't think Ben let him hit him at will. I just think he was good enough to land, but not good enough to beat him. And um, yeah, I, I think not, not every fight, you're going to get a highlight real knockout, you know. Um, he was, he, his opponent was tough enough to stay in there with him. And it's sometimes it's better to get the rounds in than the knockout. Because in the long run, when you're fighting world-class fighters and world-class athletes, when you've got the rounds under your bank, in your, in your bank, you're going to think about it, walking towards the ring and know and be confident that you can really you know, do all the rounds. Another thing though, as I was just watching them highlights, it's not actually, he's, they're saying he's getting caught, but he's literally just slipping the punches. Yeah, fine lines, I know fine what it is. Lines, fine lines, so, so sure. it's literally just slipping. So he's not taking the full effect of the punches. That's an art in itself. Yeah, well said. Thank you so much for both of you for coming in for, for different you. reasons. You both had uh, eventful weekends. And, uh, I feel like we've, we've caused a little bit of smoke and uh, yeah. no doubt you put me in the middle of it. Yeah. Thank you very much uh, for coming in. My thanks to Isaac, Chris and Fraser for joining us. Don't forget, listen to Toe to Toe wherever you get your podcasts and we'll be back next week. Bye for now. <laughs>